Mustard stiff, guys. <laughs> Budweiser having a, a camo camo pack after the whole controversy of them having a trans person representing. It's just it's just funny to me what they're. <laughs> so this back glass is super cool, guys. You're gonna see that uh, that spider spins, and you can get all kinds of different bonuses and things like that. Uh, the spider actually drops down on the play field as well. Uh, so I really like that. This table also looks really good. <clears throat> All right, what's our scared stiff scores? This also has like really cool bone flippers, guys. Oh, we're having some some issues here. Oh, we got the spin. There it is. Use the flippers to stop. What did I get? Telepathic Bower bonus. We have some of the DOF not working. So I'm gonna have to back out real quick, guys. Something weird's going on. <laughs> Hold on, guys. With Elvira. It's all my fault. Blame it on dead. Blame it on dead. Yeah, I'm not sure why the why that wasn't working. Oh. I mean, all the other DOF was working. Let's see if I, when I load this, if that uh, fixes it this time, guys. <clears throat> that was going to be my big score. When I, oh, look at who's uh, the top person. It's Granny Goodness. What? <clears throat> yeah, LAU. That's. We got to shut that down. <clears throat> we got to. We got to shut. We got to shut it down. And you're at the bottom of this one. You're at the bottom. That doesn't happen often. Yeah, it's still. Still not working. Maybe that's Everything why you're at is. the bottom. <laughs> oh! Uh oh, sleepyhead. <clears throat> I got the spin. Here it is. Look at the back glass, guys. I'm got <sighs> Telepathic power boogeyman. Up the ramp again. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> Get it there, get it. Nope. I'm taking some risky moves. So I'm this this here. might be let's a low scoring table. I got seven hundred. A player two you're up. Well I guess I'm playing two players now. I don't know how that happened. Something it could be the table too. Alright, we got the spin. Alright, looking at the back glass. Ah! All right, I got a super award. Collect Deadhead. That's close to you. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Cheesehead. Got the ramp. Ball one locked. Oh. Ball save, though. 
<laughs> oh, it was saved again. Get up there to spin. Come on, guys. You see, there's a lot of cool moving parts on here. The, oh, some of this stuff is added. Somebody did a cool mod. So not the real table doesn't have all of this. Ramp. Twice. Thrice. Whatever four is after thrice. <laughs> Five. Five. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Ah, uh, no. All right. That was a nice little combo that you had going on, though. Ah. Oh. Uh. I'm at two million, so it's already higher than I had before. Yeah, flew too close to the sun, Icarus. You flew too too, too much. <clears throat> Alright, I got under there. What do we get? Something's open. We had a creepy box opening. Tear from the crate. Multi ball. <clears throat> 18 hits to get into the laboratory. Oh, got in there again. Jackpot. Well, this is why at least I was lucky enough to be have accidentally played two players. My player two not doing good as, as good as my player one. <clears throat> yeah, you get a free game at six million, so this is not a high scoring table no. at all. <clears throat> I want to get the spin one more time. <clears throat> this is ball three. But you have Elvira's sexy legs everywhere. All right, the spin is right. Almost got it there. But this is... Wow, that's very suggestive. The back glass? Well, Elvira is always suggestive. Oh, All right, yes. we got now we're getting this multi-ball with this player. Tear from the crate. <clears throat> oh, no, guys. Jackpot. I did get a jackpot on this one. Oh, and then a straight drain. So it looks like my score is going to be... <clears throat> there we go, another spin. All right, what's beast? Hurry up! That's the beast. That ramp. Oh! No! No! Straight drain. All right. So the score that I got that's top is my top between these two. I did that for sure. Word. Well, come on, are you gonna show my score again? <clears throat> alright, you're up. Alright, alright. I'm gonna shoot for the uh, the bat ramp. I failed. I failed. So I did get a higher score, folks, but everybody above me has three million or more. So I still didn't move up in the ranks. <laughs> that first ball was atrocious. Atrocious!
Nope. I'm just stuck looking at Elvira's sexy legs. What a babe. There hasn't been a horror icon like, like her since. I mean, horror has continued on as a genre, but is there a scream queen that you can think of that beats Elvira? Yeah, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck, dude. This is gonna be a terrible score. But it's okay, it's okay. I think I got distracted on this table. The end. And remember, guys, he's getting... He's getting hot and bothered by a drawing, not even the actual woman. It's a drawing of the woman. Yo, you don't know the depths of hentai that I will go into, okay? <laughs> I'll defend myself. But she's not really a scream queen in the fact that she's not a final girl or none of that. She, she yes, there are Elvira movies, guys. But Elvira was a host who would host really bad horror movies. So when I was a kid, they had on Saturday night... You'd have Elvira, and of course she played like the bimbo kind of, you know, uh, a chick, and she would host these where she would watch whatever horror movies, uh, which was a really cool concept, <clears throat> and basic, and a really important icon for the horror industry as with the horror cons and all those different things, she still goes to those. She's really deep into the whole industry and a real big supporter. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. There hasn't been a Scream Queen just quite like her. Yeah, but I always think of Scream Queen as a... Somebody was in a horror movie... People in horror movies like Jamie Lee Curtis. You know, like that stuff sure. like that. <clears throat> but I would just... I would say not even Scream Queen. I would say horror icon. Yeah. There hasn't been a female horror icon quite like Elvira since Elvira. We need to get this. Hollywood, call me. I got ideas. Well, I'm sure they have that idea, too. Or they've they, tried. They're not doing anything with it. I'm, they've, I'm sure they've tried. You do have to have a babe. You do have to you, you do have to have a woman that sucks. I feel like that is definitely you what year do you think you're in? <laughs> People are more into the Ellen Ripley's and like strong female characters, not just the bimbos. Like that is a total you're twenty years in the past. It just doesn't work. Like you think of beautiful women, but it's strong it's, it's you're you're not gonna have that's why Elvira wouldn't work today. Like, she works because she's been that forever. Sure, sure. But those type of characters just aren't as appealing to people in general as they used to be. I think sex will always sell. Huh? I think sex will always sell. I don't... Th I'm not saying that sex won't sell. You can have sex in your movie. And you can have uh, things like that. But those type of characters are, are not done remotely the same as they used to be. Sure. Oh, yeah, I got that. Okay, I did get it saved. Now, if we haven't lost you guys on this little, uh, little rough of a conversation, just you wait. There's more controversy. There's this uh, dude that I follow on YouTube, uh, Magnates Media. He goes over of, like, you know, businesses and how they came out to be of, like, the stories, Another jackpot. The stories of, like, um... Uh, so like Papa John's, for example, right? Yeah. Oh. He does a biography on the CEO that created Papa John's, how they came to business, their adversities, how they got to uh, to being a me now a mega corporation, right? Which I'm fascinated with. I think those are interesting stories. You're up. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, I'm coming back for you, baby. I'll come every time. <laughs> That's how we 
<laughs> I, told I you. do not condone. I just want to guys let you guys know. <laughs> I do not condone any of his sexist remarks. <laughs> not even remotely close. That's not even sexist. That's just how I feel, man. You get to do the spin on the back glass. Damn. Leper Mania. I missed it. Terror from the crate. Oh, that was like some kind of multi-ball. Now it's just a... Uh... Damn it. I had multi-ball. But I made those, uh, I made those sexy remarks and failed everybody. So I'm sorry. I failed everybody. All right, got up the ramp. All right, cool, cool, cool. Ball one locked. Let's fire off ball, this ball. Oh, I got too greedy. I got too greedy. Still thinking about those legs. Well, I think maybe what happened is... Uh, I might have opened this table in VPX 10.8, the beta, and it maybe it's not completely compatible because it's not just the fact that we're not getting anything from the solenoids. We also are getting weird ball physics too. It's super yeah. bouncy. All right, got up the ramp. Oh, oh. Got to jump in your score. Almost 18, 18, uh, 1.8 million. I don't know where the heck I'm getting 18 from. All right, let me get my score in on this. I don't have my phone on me. Grand champion Den, highest scores. Okay, just give me my score. There it is. Got it. That, that's, it's, that text thing really was 2021. It seems pretty. This game came out like 1990 something. That seems pretty er, pretty recent to have that on there. That's strange. Welcome all of our new viewers. We got some new kick people on there. How's it going, you guys? What's up, guys? How you doing? We're playing some horror we'll do this pinball. One more each, because uh, I'd rather play the uh, the version of this table that is doing well or that works correctly, and this one is not 100% on there, which is fine. We'll to get our three turns in. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll look at this and see if uh, what the issue is this week, and we can I can play that again on Saturday. It could be this version of the table. It could be lots of things. One hundred forty nine thousand is not gonna get me anywhere, folks. I'm still at the bottom of the ranks on this, but I did better. Drop in there. There we go. I got a good head. Oh, 
Oh, wow, guys. Quick drain. This is an atrocious score. All right, I'm going to at least get this multi-ball. See how the bouncing physics is, guys? That's BS. <laughs> Alright, got ball one locked. Get, I want to get that spider spin again. Here it is. Oh my! Ah! And then look at that. Straight drain, guys. All right, your final turn. Turn. You're the last hope for one of us to break that up, that three million in the top. Oh, Granny goodness, can, can, she may continue to hold on to her top score today. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I got sidetracked. I was looking, circling. I knew you'd come back. I knew you would come back. All right, we talked about haunted house horror movies. <clears throat> we didn't really say anything specific about atmosphere. I mean, we did talk yeah. about the mist. The mist is more of an atmospheric one. Oh, for sure, like, and it, I think it kills it. Yeah. So, but what other what other top atmospheric horror movies? Uh, I really like John Carpenter's The Fog. Uh, that's a really good movie. Uh, let's see, what else do we got that's just like that kind of feeling of dread or, or something's just not right. Psycho I guess it fits into more of a psychological horror. Right. Hmm. Because then I, even then, like some movies that are just so freaking weird that it creeps me out type of thing. But I think that's a big, uh, that, that falls in there too. Because there's some, like, just weird movies that they creep me out. Because I'm like, this is just bizarre. So that could definitely be considered uh, atmospheric horror. At least uh, personally to me. <laughs> Smile? I haven't seen it. So it has this general premise that uh, someone gets cursed and they pass the curse on to all these other people. So it generates this, like, social anxiety. Kim says get out. Yes, that's Yeah, atmosphere. get out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Terror from the crate. All right, let's see Damn. here, guys. Lepermania. Oh, shit. How are we not thinking of The Shining? The whole thing the shining, is atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, Come on. Yeah, absolutely. What's wrong with us, people? You should... You, you, you guys need to, uh, uh, you know... Uh, Who failed more? Us or you guys? Of like... Because I'm playing a game here, so... My mental capacity... All right, here's a list of movies. Like, we're not gonna... I'm not gonna... We're not gonna debate on what their list is and, like, the top. We're just listing different ones. We got Carnival of Souls, so I've never even seen that. I've heard of it. Yeah. I agree with that. Uh, it follows. 790. Messiah of Evil. I haven't heard of that one. 
The Witch. I keep hearing about that, but I've not seen that movie. All right, so I beat my score, 839 million. Nosferatu, definitely atmosphere. 